Texas has been really good to us. It's been a great place to raise a kid. It's a great place to have a dog. It's a great place to be outside. I grew up in West Virginia, Princeton, West Virginia, and uh, I won a uh, coloring contest when I was probably in second grade. And that was it. <laughs> that was sort of the, that was the moment, that was the deciding moment. She may be a transplant from back east, but artist Katie Murata has found her home, for good, here outside Austin, Texas. This kitchen table doubles as an easel of sorts, cluttered with the pages and panels of black and white sketches. What do you like to draw? I really like landscapes. I really like the Texas landscape. I like the geometry of uh, hay bales, the circular hay bales. And I like silos, I like barns, I like fences. So these are just your tiny little sketches that you're gonna transfer to the big piece, right? All of my work is on a really small scale. My biggest piece, even though it's four feet long, it's only one inch high. This is typically how big my elements are. You get a sense of the scale of how small these little elements are. But this to me is so typical of the Texas landscape that you can see these and really clearly, these little shapes, these little you know, moments out on the horizon that are so uh, evocative, they're so poetic, I think. And here's a landscape with a tiny, you know, these tiny uh -huh. little a storm. You know, moments and a big storm. What do you call these? Uh, I call them horizonscapes. For people that grew up in Texas, I think that they are connected to the landscape like no place I've ever lived. And it's a landscape that they've driven by. It's a landscape that you have in your memory of when you drove by it when you were a kid. There's no fancy color. There's no fancy building. It's just everydayness, but it's frozen. You know, you've frozen this wonderful little everyday moment. It's just a very everyday sort of narrative. Keep it just as common as it can be. There are seascapes and landscapes. This was horizonscapes because it really does define what the focus is, which is just that line between the earth and the sky out in Texas. When we travel around, I take photos, I do sketches, and then I come home and put it together on these long skinny pieces. Katie has a limit of one inch high, but her horizonscapes can stretch out to much longer. In her upstairs studio, a drawing can reach out to 10 feet or even more. It's like a little silent movie. It's like a little black and white silent movie of stuff that you might see every day. And for me, I just eat it up. For a West Virginia mountain girl turned hill country artist, it was her first glimpse of the High Plains flat landscape that captured her heart. Katie's horizonscapes are a nonstop artistic excursion that honors the forgotten places, frozen in time, preserved one inch high, one foot at a time. I mean, I'm wild about West Texas. I'm wild about this the horizon. Thank you all for coming tonight. You sort of expect that you're going to feel like an ant when you get out into this landscape, that it's gonna make you feel insignificant. It's actually sort of the opposite. When you first see these up on a wall in a gallery, they don't look like anything. They look like they're just a stripe on a wall. I'm going to show you this long piece and it's called The Long Horizon. And I did it for a show in Corpus Christi where they had a huge wall and I was allowed to do a piece that was 70 feet long. So this piece is 70 feet long by one inch and it's the Texas horizon. The generic sort of iconic uh, Texas little ranch house, the grandma's house with the fence and the trees. I like going out in the winter so most of my trees are bare. Most of the trees are branches are bare which I really like. The whole piece is owned by uh, the Museum of the Southwest in Midland, Texas, so it's on loan from them. So there's really 30 more feet to this? There's 30 more feet, so the whole piece is 70 feet long. This is about uh, 55, I think. So if the whole piece was put together, it would be 70 feet long by one inch tall. 
It, it sounds incredible. And it is. It, 70 feet is beyond belief, but it made for such a wonderful length of horizon. And I put all the good stuff in there, so it's fantastic. In 70 feet. In 70 feet. Yeah, it's fun to see it all up again. Mm -hmm. With a sharp pencil and only one inch to work with, Katie Murata has created an art form all its own. The blending of an overlook landscape with gentle strokes of gray. It seems her passion, like the horizon Katie loves so much, has no boundaries at all. It's hard to put into words, but when you get out onto those high plains, and you see weather coming toward you. It's thrilling. It's absolutely thrilling. And at that moment, I feel like the luckiest person around. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.